So here we are coming up with the numbers. Um, the headline, 173, 173, that's a slight disappointment. The revision is plus 44K though, so, mm. ever, so completely in line if you look at the addition of the revisions uh, to the expected number. Um, unemployment rate actually went down to 5.1%. That's the lowest, of course, for the mm. cycle. Earnings beating, that's a key. That's, that's dollar bullish because we're seeing earnings coming in stronger month on month, so a bit of a, a bump there. Um, but the market, interestingly, not not terribly impressed, and uh, we're seeing the uh, the euro dollar pressured. Well, it's doing it's it's almost flat right now. Dollar yen slightly lower than where we were going into the number. Uh, if we look at the risky currencies, we're flat. This is a, almost a maximum confusion kind of number, <laughs> really, because it's if you look at the the number itself, the change in NFP plus the revisions, you're at what are you at? You're at 217k within 1,000 of the of the surprise, including the revisions. I think we, we can hear the reaction on the trading floor behind us and perhaps that sort of confusion being reflected in some of the shouts of frustration we've just heard. Yeah, it's always it's always uh, unwise and, and, and very uh, tricky to try to trade the number in immediate minutes because sometimes, although the number is important in the bigger picture, there's, some, there's a short-term agenda the market has that it's trying to, to work through and the number itself doesn't really interfere with what people wanted to do anyway. So uh, we've got to see how this settles, not just over the next 30 minutes, but towards the end of the day as well. And I think risk, uh, risk sentiment is a, key, uh, is a key part of that. And risk sentiment, especially because what we have here is a bang in line, uh, bang in line report that means people are left to their animal spirits rather than dramatic new information. This is not dramatic new information. So, so on that point, and final question, yeah. um, do you think the markets are going to hold their breath now ahead of the rate hike decision in two weeks' time, given this number was roughly in line with expectations? So is it a case of markets treading water now for two weeks? I think it is. It's a case of how much did this recent market turmoil, this sort of cratering in confidence, do we see a, an echo of that, uh, an aftershock from that, uh, more deleveraging? Um, I, this doesn't really, to me, alter the, the, the Fed's mindset. It, it does want to get this hike out of the way, this first hike. I think this keeps these numbers are good enough to keep it on course for an October move, if not a September move, because of the recent term was too much, for, probably for September. Um, it's just, uh, let, let's wait and see. I, I think uh, there's very little data now as well between now and the actual uh, September 17th FOMC meeting. John, thank you very much for your time, yep. your skill and your wisdom. <laughs> That's it from uh, Trading Floor Live on Saxo TV for now. We'll be back in a month's time with live reaction to the non-farm payrolls.